What's going on, y'all? Terrell Friday here with Future DDS. In today's installment of the DHC series, we have Joy Walls with us from the dental school at the University of Texas Health Science Center at San Antonio, uh, UTSA. So, uh, Joy, thanks for taking some time out speaking with us. Thank you for having me. Awesome, awesome, awesome. If you could, um, you know, just reintroduce yourself, let everybody know what year you are at UTSA, uh, also where you went to undergrad, um, what you majored in, and where you're originally from. My name is Joy Walls. I'm from Houston, Texas, and I went to undergrad at Howard University in DC. Um, after DC, I went straight to dental school, and that is in San Antonio, UT Health San Antonio. But they've like changed the name ten times. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> Don't worry okay. about it. Well, would you uh, would you major in at uh, Howard? At Howard, I was a sports medicine major and a chemistry minor. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. And you're first year, right? Or second? I'm a second year. Second year now, okay, awesome, awesome, awesome. So if you could, you know, uh, I know every pre dent is worried about the DAT and that's like something that's really, you know, putting a lot of anxiety on them. What is some something that you did? What's your number one tip on how to do well on the DAT? Um, I got a tutor because it wasn't happening by myself. It's real. <laughs> <laughs> it just wasn't happening. Um, I actually took a Kaplan class twice because it was paid for by my school. Okay. And it wasn't happening like that. No. <laughs> <laughs> it just wasn't. So I got the DAT Destroyer, and I would go through that with my tutor, and then I'd go through it alone, like, after that, like, for the rest of the day. And I studied about, I think I studied about two months for it okay. diligently, and then took it. But the tutor, like, he saved my life. He was actually going into dental school, too. So we were the same boat, but he'd already, you know, Sailed on past that part. <laughs> <laughs> he was good on the DAT, so he helped you out. Okay, awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, was I, I guess what was one of the biggest things? Was it uh, just getting used to how the questions were asked, or was it more so just drilling, drilling a whole bunch of problem, practice problems back to back, or was it just you know you feel like having that tutor there was was pretty much like the main key for you? I think just the practice questions really help because you understand like the verbiage they use, the way they ask questions and that help. But then also reviewing because a lot of the stuff they test you on, you take in like your first and second year in college. And by the time you're getting ready to take the DAT, that stuff is long gone. You forgot it. I forgot it. I didn't know what anything was talking about. So I had to go back and like, what does this mean? What is a cell? What is an atom? And like, just reintroduce myself to that. That's real. That's real. So it's a, a lot of review stuff. So um, for your school in particular, uh, do you guys have any type of feeder programs or enrichment programs for pre -dents? Um, You know, obviously, you know, some schools have like feeder programs, masters and stuff like that. Do you guys have that? And, you know, did you, were you able to do any type of feeder program yourself? So there's a feeder program. It's called LEAD. It's like L-E-A-D. I don't know what the word, the letters stand for, <laughs> but they have, levels like one, two, three, four, five, six. Mm -hmm. And four is for right before you start dental school, right. like after you've already gotten in, but three and two, they have programs where they introduce you to dental school, they introduce you to the lab, hand skills, and just things that happen, you know, in a dental setting. Right. So that's really good. And I also know there's like a three plus seven program, three okay. plus four program, where you get in I don't know when they admit you, but you only do three years of undergrad and then you go straight into dental school after your junior year. And then you get, you go to graduation after your first year of dental school for okay. undergrad. Uh, okay. That's yeah. That's interesting. I've heard of the three plus four, but I didn't know you guys actually graduated. Cause I think some schools have it as a three plus four, but you only get a DMD degree or a DDS degree. Mm -hmm. It's weird, but. Okay, so that's cool. You guys have a, a lot of different options for, for pre dents who are right. especially interested there. Okay, cool. So if you could, you know, just think back to when you were applying and interviewing everything, how many schools mm -hmm. did you actually end up applying to? I think it was probably close to like 10 or 11. It was a lot. Okay. Okay, cool. And were you thinking of just schools that you saw yourself potentially being at? Or were you thinking of just schools you felt like you could get into? Was it there's a mix of, mix of all type? It was schools I thought would accept me because I had fun in college. <laughs> <laughs> <That's real. laughs> I enjoyed myself. I did all the things. And 
I didn't have like super strong GPA. It was decent, but then my DAT wasn't great either. And I knew that, but I just applied to schools I thought would let me in. I applied to like Howard and Meharry because I love those schools. Went to Howard, go at you. <laughs> but I just really applied to schools like in state for me. So that'd be Texas. Okay. And then I applied all over the country at places that had, you know, lower stats in general. Got you, got you, got you. Okay, so how was the actual interview uh, at UTSA? So how was it, uh, you know, if you could take me through the day, uh, how you felt going in and, and, you know, I guess your overall impression? Um, so it started out, you just, you know, check in. It was fine. It was like a lecture. The beginning it was just like a lecture about the school. It was really relaxed, honestly. It was... I think our interviews didn't start until after lunch. We got there at like nine or 10 and okay. it was like lectures and then did lunch and then the interviews were after the lunch. And it was one with a faculty and then one with a student. It was really relaxed. My faculty was super cool. It was just a conversation. And I think with the student, it was the same. I got like a weird question from faculty and they were like, what, what upsets you most about the world? Or like, what do you... Oh, well. It was weird. It was very open-ended. <laughs> but it, I really enjoyed it. it. Everything felt like really cool. We had lunch with dental students and they were just really relaxed and chill. They didn't, they weren't, you know, grilling us or anything. Just asking us if we had questions. And, got yeah. you, got you. Okay, so after you, uh, you know, you got through the interview process, you decide, you know, you get your acceptance and you decide that you're going to UTSA, uh, stay in the state and everything. Uh, how was it that first year actually transitioning into school? You know, how was the curriculum for you guys? And then how were you guys transitioned into the pre -clin and clinical curriculum um, of like the dental curriculum basically at the school? Okay, it was a mess. <laughs> <laughs> it was. It was like, oh my goodness, I'm so excited to be here, but I have no idea what's going on. Yep. And so just adjusting, it was very different. I had to adjust, like, I'm not near any of my friends. All my friends are on the East Coast. I mean, I guess I had friends from home, but it was only a couple of them. And, you know, everybody's busy living their lives. So yeah. it was weird not to have, like, my core group of people with me. But, I mean, I got a new one, of course, dental school. It makes you get close to people. Um, the preclinical hand skills, it was like a slow start, but then I just got into it. I got lucky. <laughs> I really did. It came natural for you, huh? <laughs> it did. I'm very grateful. Nice. Um, but the whole didactic... That was really difficult for me because I don't want to sit down and study. Yeah. I don't want to sit down and go through slides. That's not me. Mm -hmm. It was it was really a big adjustment. And then the whole these tests, each test means so much. You know what I mean? And I did not like all that pressure on me. It was yeah. It was very difficult. <laughs> I feel it. So you guys had uh, did you guys have block style um, classes first year like where you just do anatomy, histo biochem things like that or did you guys have systems where you'll do like gi cardio uh, so yeah that's what we had we have a new curriculum okay. so my class is the second class with the new curriculum so the people above us i guess 2021 mm -hmm. yeah class of 2021 they had the worst of it they had to really figure out like deal with all the you know getting the kinks out of the curriculum but we we got to benefit from them. So what we have is just, it's all integrated. So our tracks is, one of the tracks is HHD and those are all the ologies, pathology, anatomy, you know, microbiology, all of that stuff. But it's worked into it. So the first one, just in general, so the first one was development of teeth. Like how does that come about? But that also came with um, neuro and embryology Look. it was so much i don't remember <laughs> my bad i feel i feel like it's bringing up bad memories from first year just a like, little bit but everything. <laughs> i mean it all makes sense after that then when you get into the second year that's when you have like cardio is one class and then next will be like endocrinology and gi and so yes like the second one that you said Okay, so integrated, yeah. more integrated systems based. Got you. Mm -hmm. And how were you guys uh, introed into the pre clin aspect? You know, like, I guess waxing up teeth and actually picking up a hand piece and actually have you guys start seeing people in clinic uh, at all? Like, do you guys do that any of that first year? 
Uh, yeah, so in the first year, you get your first, first patient in in the spring. Wow. But you were really just doing, you know, reviewed systems and all that. But it's still, you. we have rotations in the clinic. Okay. So they make us do different things. Like we have clinical assisting. I think we have to do it like two or three times the first year. But then in the second year, you do it like a whole bunch of weeks. Mm-hmm. But they, they really do bring us into the clinic early. And I really like that. So it's not like, oh my goodness, because it's for us, it's a whole different building. We're not even on the same mm-hmm. okay. like building. We have to travel to this like new pretty building, everything's <laughs> light and airy. And but we do get to go over there and it's nice. We learn about like nutrition, we have our pediatrics rotation, just those different things in the second year. But in the first year, we do get to go over there and like learn perio. We practice on each other. Um, and yeah, like we do, we get a lot of time over there, which is very nice. Got you, got you, got you. So if you could, um, you know, just, um, speaking in particular to UTSA, what is something unique about your experience at the school so far? And granted, we know you only have your one dental school experience, you know, being the dental Mm -hmm. student there, but what is something you feel like it has been unique about your experience? Um, I feel like we have a lot of like world-renowned faculty. I don't know if every school has that. This is what I know is that, you know, in San Antonio for right. me. And it's like these people who are the experts, their names are in the books. And that that's really, really great for me because I just get to sit and listen because these people have like a wealth of knowledge. Yeah. They know everything you could ever know. And they're like on the forefront, on the forefront of the research as well. So just to listen and learn from them is very they're like super accessible too so i just love learning like that nice 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 and the, and the last question just to wrap, wrap up um you know if you could currently go back to the past and tell the the younger version of you that was applying to dental school and trying to decide what school they wanted to apply to and, and what school they would choose if they got in uh what advice would you give uh that younger version of yourself um i would tell her to relax getting in is the easy part <laughs> getting in really is the Look, easy part let them know let them know <laughs> uh yeah just and enjoy all the time because i was stressed like my second semester of my senior year at howard i was worried all this stuff even though i already gotten into school <laughs> like, it didn't make any sense but yes just relax Okay, cool. That's perfect, man. Just relax. Everything's going to work out fine. Clearly, it's working out fine for you, and you're, you're doing well, UTSA. Mm-hmm. So I uh, just want to say congrats on making it this far, uh, and best of luck for you going forward. Honestly. Thank you, and good luck to you, too. Thank you. Thank you. So, again, um, thank you for taking some time out, but if anybody has any questions for you specifically about your journey or about more about your school, how could they get in touch with you? Um, on Instagram, I have, it's joyous, so J-O-I-O-U-S, and then it's a period and an underscore, and then I also have a blog that I don't keep up with as much okay. as I'd like to. Go ahead, plug it. What, what is it? What is uh, it? Joy the DS, so J-O-I-V-T-H-E-D-S dot com. There we go. So, everybody out there, you heard it. Make sure you go tap <laughs> in, ask Joy any questions that you guys have about UTSA. She gave you some great information. Uh, some great gems to to you know help you along your journey mm-hmm. um if you haven't already make sure you go follow us at underscore future dds on instagram you can send us a dm if you have any questions uh and also if you haven't already make sure you hit the subscribe button the like button and the notification bell so you know whenever we post some new content but uh joy again on behalf of the future dds family all the viewers out there uh tyler myself we just want to say thank you thank you awesome awesome until next time see you guys later